Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to play Steam games on your Android phone or your iPhone. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So that is right, you can stream your entire Steam library over to your Android or iPhone very easily. Now the first thing we want to go ahead and do is go to our phone then go to the store on your phone so i'm going to choose the play store and then i'm going to go to the top and i'm going to type in steam link now this is going to be different than the steam application so let's go ahead and type in steam link right now so here it is so it will look like this steam link and this one currently has 33,000 reviews 5 million downloads so let's install this on our phone. And we won't be able to see our friends list, etc., or the Steam Guard on this application. It will just be for streaming. So completely two separate applications. So let's go ahead and open this up right now. And then go ahead and click on Get Started. Now you can pair your Steam controller or a different controller like PlayStation 4, 5, or Xbox controller. Otherwise, just use the on-screen touch controls. I'm going to use the on-screen touch controls for this example. I can see my computer as an option. But if you don't see any computers, you can go to other computer or rescan. And it'll scan for computers currently on your network. So you want to make sure your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi and your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi. Now, go ahead and just scroll on down from the top and go to the Wi-Fi icon to the left. And just find your network and connect to it. So I am under Mr. Beast and I am connected. Let's go back over to the Steam Link application. So let's connect to Timbot, my computer, with Steam. And you have to have Steam up and running on your computer as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to connect to it. So let's select Timbot. And we have to type in this code now. So here is Steam on my computer. And as soon as I click with my left mouse click, this screen popped up where we have to type in 2955 now. Press OK. And I am connecting on my phone. And it's doing like a quick test of my connection. And it looks like I have about 40, 50 megabytes slash second. So looks like I have a decent internet connection here and it shows Timbot, my touch controllers and everything else. Now, if you don't get to this point, what you have to do under the Steam application on your PC is go up to Steam and go to settings and then go down to remote play and enable remote play right here, this option. And you can see my device is paired, my Samsung S9. You can unpair it very easily by selecting go to unpair, or you can reset the security code that didn't come through. And then you have the options for streaming. Like if it's really slow and the input is just way behind of what's being displayed on the screen, you can go to fast. Otherwise, if you have a very good connection and you want the best quality resolution, go to beautiful. But for most people, I'd say balance is what you want to go ahead and pick. And here are some more advanced options if you want to get into it. But I'm just going to leave it as is. Just make sure you check mark enable remote play at the top. So let's go up to the settings so I can see my computer. I can do a rescan, look for other computers, network test. I can connect a controller by going to pair controller or disable touch. Or for streaming, I have a few different options under here as well. So let's go back to the home screen and then go to start playing and it's connecting to my computer right now and it's going to launch it into big picture mode on your pc so now i can go ahead and use this d-pad and navigate throughout this different menu so let's start up one game let's go to the master chief collection here and press a and then just go to play so let's move my cursor up there and press play and it's going to launch the application so Halo is starting up and you should be able to hear the sound coming through your phone. So there is a little bit of input delay I've noticed just playing around with this, but 
most of it I think is really just using this on screen kind of like thumbstick. It's just hard to aim with this whenever I use it. So let's just start up a game real quick. But I think this looks pretty good. I've been enjoying playing it. Let's go over to start a game. And you do have some options on your screen. Like you have the chat window right here you can press. The keyboard. There's a, a settings button in the upper left. Where you can increase the volume of your microphone. Or decrease it over here. The volume right here. You can enable your know, trackpad cursor, direct cursor, disable your mouse, touch screen, you can disable it. You have different layout options, gesture controls, etc. So there's a few more options here. There's a power button up here you can press. You can go to stop screaming, stop game, cancel, etc. Then on the other side, you have the Steam button you can press where this will open up this screen where you can scroll on down to stop streaming as well or exit the game. And it looks pretty good on my phone. The only thing is I notice it's a little bit jaggy whenever I run around just because the resolution is quite a bit lower than what displays on my monitor. So go ahead and check out Steam Link, guys. This is pretty cool. You can be sitting on your couch watching a movie and playing something on your phone at the same time. So if this video did indeed help you, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six studios.